Enabling a successful project begins when you start from where a young person is. So including them in a project and saying, this is what we're doing, why don't we, how can we bring you into it and co-produce it with you, as opposed to tell them what to do. People come um, learn, develop their skills and then go on to, to have um, jobs in either sustainability area or you know lots of different areas. This is about making sure that every person coming through that gate is given both a pathway, so a pathway that moves beyond unemployment, but not even unemployment, lack of confidence. A pathway that builds confidence and at the end result of that is paid work and also a clear direction in terms of next steps towards that as well, so aspiration. Try to get people who are local to you because if a young person doesn't have to travel so far it's very helpful to them and they also have a direct relationship to their where their their environment their local environment the key thing is flexibility it's support and it's options and it's partnership we couldn't do it without the job center partnership at the start without the ymca partnership at the start but we also couldn't finish it without the asham homes partnership at the end. A while ago there was a government scheme called Future Jobs Fund which meant we were able to offer placements to people who maybe didn't have that level of education and I wish we had more opportunities to do that. As a young person it can be feel quite lonely and, and difficult to get out there and try and find new, you know, new avenues. So maybe you don't have three or four days a week you can volunteer for an internship but if you have one day a week to kind of come in and see what's happening in an office that's great you know or even if you just have time to have a coffee with somebody get in contact with them and see if they've got time to spare. What I got out of the Branch Act programme was confidence. The Otisha alumni email which emails which have some uh, good jobs in them, uh, green jobs, living wage stuff which is which are very you know which are good and motivating. He was in a workplace where people respected each other and that that opened his mind to what, what work could be and secondly he was introduced to the broader environmental job sector my future has always been the same from before. The only thing I think that's changed is the amount of courage and it's way more. And if that's and that including that is gonna make me go far, I know it will.